What's up, lovers? How are you doing today? Today, I am super excited. I don't know why, but I'm not going to be yelling at you because it's, it's a good video. So, you know how I always tell you what to do with bitches. Today, I'm going to tell you where to find the good bitches. I mean, I shouldn't call them bitches. Then. Let, let's call them women today. We're going to try. So, today, I'm making a video about eight places you should go to to find good women single single women not the married one because we don't care about the married one we don't want them because that's a waste of your time i hope you know that you should never talk to a married woman yes so um before we start i didn't know what to say before we start i created a patreon at www.patreon.com so if you want to see a little bit more of me and schedule maybe a phone call it's not a phone call it's a video call a video call with me we can do that over there please and thank you so i guess since i don't always tell you where to find them bitches and i just give you the tips on what to do my videos are a little pointless i mean hopefully you know where to go but today i'm gonna tell you where to find them and it is not it is not i'm spitting drum roll brrr, the club you know damn well this is not the club I'm not saying you cannot get lucky and find a good bitch a, a good woman in the club i'm not saying that because some good women go to the club sometimes you know but it is not at the club and not at the bar like your chances are gonna be very low slim to none at the club or the bar another place that i wouldn't recommend is work dating a co-worker is too risky i have a friend he dated his co-worker and i guess they had a policy about you're not supposed to date your co-workers got fucking fired the bitch got fired too now they're not together so what what's the point but yeah, don't date your co-workers, even if there is no policy, most of the time it's not going to work out and then it's going to be hell. All right, so let's go on the eight places that you should actually go to. My number one, number fucking one that you guys should go to is outdoor festivals or flea market or shit like that where it's outside. Because you know what? I went to this event and I was like, wow, so many beautiful women. Like I'm looking for bitches, you know, because I'm recruiting all the time. So I'm like, damn, it's a lot of pretty girls out here. Pretty girls that are not like uppity because, you know, we're outside. It's a festival. So it's not like the same environment as the club. Because at the club, everybody is trying like to be on their best behavior, to be like dressed up and, you know, get in section and all that shit. It's very pretentious. When you go to a festival, everybody is actually relaxed. Probably they're smoking, they're drinking, you know, everybody's chill. It's just a good time. That is the perfect place for you to go find bitches. Also, the plus on that is that they're relaxed and chill. They travel in pack, you know. Single women are going to come with single girls. Usually the, the bitch that's not single is not coming or she's coming with her dude. So usually it's a bunch of girls, packs of girls that are together. And the advantage of this one compared to the club is that you don't gotta buy drinks and shit like that. That's one. But two, you see them bitches. They cannot catfish you acting like I'm prettier than what I am. No. Bitch, if you're ugly now, you're ugly. That's it. You know, or if you're pretty now, you're just pretty because the light doesn't come up at the end of the night and you're like, oh my God, who have I been talking to all night? Who have I uh, been buying drinks to? No, the bitch was ugly you didn't see. It's daytime. You see everything. Right there, it's way easier to approach. You can talk. It's not too loud. It's really fun. Like when I went, actually, because I tell you all the time, people don't really approach me. At the festival, a lot of people were actually approaching me. So I'm telling you, it works. And I'm there and I'm single. So I'm the example. Number two that I think is really, really good, volunteering and charity events. So... You know, usually, I, I don't want to sound bad, but it's mostly women that go and like try to get, pass out food and stuff like that. I'm telling you, I go to some and it's mostly women. So when we see one dude, we're like, oh my God, he's so genuine. Even if you're there like just to catch bitches, you know, in our mind, we're like, oh damn, it, he cares about other people. You know, we're going to think right away that you have a good heart because you're giving your time which is true you are giving your time but maybe you're really there just for that hopefully you are there because you want to help out and not just catch bitches i hope that would be that would be good for your soul i think but right there there's no fucking competition because it's not a lot of men there also if you get this woman 
you're gonna see okay she has a good heart because she's volunteering and she's probably a keeper too so not just you being seen as a keeper but you should see her as a keeper too because she's doing some good things number three you already know people love dogs dogs no i'm saying that like i don't like dogs i only like my dog i think but uh <laughs> humans love dogs more than other humans a lot of people are like that so go to the fucking dog park hopefully you have a dog because that looks a little better instead of you just being at the dog park with no dog that's a little weird but if you do have a dog the dog park is really easy because you know the dogs are gonna be talking mingling and then right there you can talk to the owner of the dog very easy to approach women at the dog park number four you're gonna love that one. I mean, maybe you're probably, no, you're not gonna love it, but when I'm gonna explain, you're gonna be like, yeah, I gotta go. Yoga classes or spin classes. Seriously, you are going to be outnumbered. It's all bitches going there. Like, I, I used to take those classes. It's like, maybe let's say we're 20. It's probably like 18 bitches, 18, two guys. So right there, you know, and then the, the good part, especially yoga and spin, Bitches be stretching in them yoga pants. You know, they are looking fucking sexy. And uh, on the spin thing, when they're like pedaling, and you're like, oh my God, you can see all that ass moving, jiggling, and they're sweating. Can you imagine? All this shit is hot. I know, I hope you can control your dick because don't get hot while uh, in spinning class or yoga class because they're gonna look at you like you're a fucking creep. But you are gonna be one or two in that class one or two guys in that class and the rest are women right there it's so easy because first of all you went through an effort a class it was hard not your dick the class was hard and um so you bond over like the experience you're like damn the class kicked my ass today and she's like oh my god me too usually i'm okay but you and that's how you start a fucking conversation do you come always with this teacher or do you take another class now like, you can start learning her schedule and the girl is not gonna feel like you're trying to holler. It's just like you're getting information because you wanna get the best class. We don't care, I mean, you might care about the class, but we care about the bitch. So right there, she's gonna tell you, you guys might exchange numbers, all that shit, and then it's fucking easy. Also, the fact that you're taking a yoga class or a spin class because it's so low on men, it shows that you are like fucking confident because a lot of men are like, no, nah, that's some classes for women. You know, but you're like, I can take this class. It's good for me. You just come off as somebody that's very secure. Number five, intramural sports or like meetup. You know, if you like kickball, volleyball, beach volleyball, um, what else? Uh, flag football, like all type of shit. It's not that much pressure. I mean, I don't know. The one I used to go to, they were, it was pressure because we wanted to play good, you know? but um it's not that much pressure and usually we party together because you know it's like we bond and then we get to know each other and then we go have a drink after the game or whatever so that is a really good uh way to meet women number six i would say the coffee shop but the thing with the coffee shop is that you gotta stay for a little while you gotta sit down go with the book go with your computer if you work from home maybe work from there and you will see it's a lot of people that actually work from coffee shops the same with like the library you can go to the library and work you're gonna see a lot of familiar faces the more you go the longer you stay people go and work at those places so it's easy at some point you're gonna become familiar with the people and you're gonna start talking oh you come here often oh what do you work on do you work from home why are you here you, you can start conversation the more somebody sees you the more they feel comfortable the more they feel like they already kind of know you it's kind of like work when you're at work you see that person all the time all the time like it's the same you go to the library and probably do some work now it feels like oh that's the workspace you know so um, go there also at the library you just look fucking smart so that that's a good thing and you want a smart bitch, I hope. A, sorry, it's a bitch. A, a smart woman, I hope. Number seven, you might be like, shut the fuck up, but I'm like, it's real. Whole food, like expensive grocery stores, healthy grocery stores, fancy grocery stores, bitches are there because bitches are on their health thing. I, I'm talking like this, like it's not good to be on your health thing. No, it's good, be on your health thing. But that shit is expensive. That's why I'm talking shit. But they're there. They're there with their yoga pants one more time trying to look good trying to look fit and looking for good stuff grocery store is the perfect place even if you don't go to the fancy ones i'm saying the fancy ones because 
most likely those women have their shit together where they can spend that type of money on groceries so but a nice grocery store because also it's easy to make conversation you see she got something healthy in her basket you're like oh what what do you do with that you've tried it or uh, you've tried it before can you tell me about it I, I i saw it but i wasn't so so sure about it can you talk to me about it or oh I'm, I'm getting this do you know how i should prepare it like you can make fucking conversation and not look like you're fucking thirsty you are asking for fucking information obviously if you see that she has a bunch of eggplants in her basket you do not tell her uh, would you like to add another one to the menu you don't know say 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 shit like that obviously but uh you know i i don't think i gotta tell you that but i felt like i should just in case and number eight you guys might think it's trash sometimes i do think it's trash but dating websites it's like okay you're in the comfort of your own home on your phone you order a pizza you order whatever you want you're watching tv and you're just texting scrolling swiping left right whatever it is easy also it is well less pressure because you can be your best that's one you can be your you can put your best pictures best uh quotes best everything you can think about your profile and make it look good then in person it's too much pressure you gotta be perfect right away uh shit what am i gonna say online it's easy you like the bitch she likes you back you start talking also because you text because it's pretty much messages or texting or whatever you have time to strategize and not sound dumb because some people are so nervous they'll be sounding dumb online you have time also the good part about online dating is that most of the time the people are single i say most of the time because i was talking to a dude it was good we were hitting it off and uh one day we're supposed to meet up that was maybe like the third um date how about uh, a bitch calls me talking about hey i'm so and so and i'm this uh, dude's girlfriend and we live together <laughs> i'm like what i was in disbelief but i believe her because i was like hey that's your dude there's nothing going on we haven't kissed we just met up twice that's your dude handle him i'm good i never understood i'm gonna I'm bring this to you i never understood people who go to the other person to say something me if i have a dude and i catch you cheating or catch you maybe just talking to another bitch or whatever you would never catch me talking to the bitch and be like yo my man bro. i look fucking stupid i don't know why these people do that I, I i don't know she needed to let me know i guess she couldn't handle just her man i don't fucking know but i'm gonna handle my dude you, my, the, the other bitch is never gonna hear from me because i'm looking stupid Stupid, but I don't know what you guys do, but that's a point that I wanted to, to ask. Why people do that? I would never. I'm already embarrassed you're cheating on me with another bitch, but now I'm going to give her the satisfaction to go and argue with her? No, I'm good. Anyways, also the best time to contact people on social media, I would say from 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. because 6 p.m. is usually when people are done working, so it's okay, we can talk. If you reach out during the day, she might be like, well, you don't work. Why are you not busy at 2 p.m.? But I mean, it's LA. People don't really work, I feel. So, but wherever you are, like maybe during the day is not the best time. So I would say more like nighttime, end of the afternoon, 6 p.m. Not after 11 p.m. because the bitch is going to be like, why am I a booty call? Or also, why is not sleeping? Is not waking up tomorrow to go to work? It's a bunch of shit. So 6 to 11 p.m. I think is the best time unless she's texting all day long and you want to go for that you you do that but that's it all right guys that's all i have those were eight best places in my knowledge to meet good women i keep on saying bitches uh but good women yes guys so if you want to do that you do that yeah i don't know what i'm saying but yes you can like share comment you can also uh go check me out on patreon at www.patreon.com and you can also follow me on Instagram at Medi Love Exo and at Medi Monaco. I love you guys, and uh, hopefully, you are finding those good women. I was gonna say bitches again. Those good women are out there. I'm telling you, they are. Find them. Good night.